Whatever you want, I'll do it. Lord, whatever you want, I'll give it. Lord, whatever you want me to do, I say to whatever, whatever, whatever. Hello, my friend. It's me, Bishop John R. Stevenson. Once again, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of The Shepherd's Heart. Let's pray together. God, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Thank you for giving us this day our daily bread and for giving us as our debt as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. God, we're so grateful for today. Really, we, we truly, truly are. And if we haven't said it yet, we just want to say thank you for all that you've done for us in this wonderful, wonderful day that you have, that you have made. Yes, we have life. We have liberty. Everything we have, though, Father, we have because you have allowed us to have it once again. The Bible says that your grace and your mercy is renewed daily. And we are blessed with benefits. We have benefits uh, that we have that you give us daily. And so because you're Heavenly Father, because we are your children, we are heirs and joint heirs with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and because of that, we can cry and call you Abba Father. And so I thank you so very much for the opportunity that you've given me to set before your people uh, as we go through the Word of God at whatever time they are viewing. Touch each and every ear. Touch each and every eye. Allow us to see like never before. Allow us to hear like never before. I thank you, God, that you speak to all of us in, in the language that we understand you in. So speak to your people like only you can. Holy Spirit, come on and have your way. Lead and guide us into the truth as only you can because we know that truth make us free. And those of us who the Son sets free and makes free is free indeed. Free your people now from everything that hinders, everything that's a chain, everything that may bind them. Loose them now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the anointing that rests upon my life to preach and teach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ with power and authority. I give you glory and I give you praise for the opportunity once again. Thank you for going before us and making crooked places straight and rough places smooth. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Thank you, my friends, my dear, dear friends, for allowing me space in your life again today. We are still dealing with the subject of I will trust in thee. I will trust in thee. And it's important, friend, that we locate our trust. We find out where is it that we've placed our trust. Uh, we talked about how it is that it's a daily decision when it comes to trusting God. It's a daily, a daily decision. It's, it's something I have to make, a decision I have to make every day, all day. Because we live in the valley of decisions. We live in the valley. And so we have to choose whether or not we're going to trust in God or we're going to trust in something else or someone else. And we talk about trust, we're talking about being confident in someone, putting our faith and our confidence, our trust in something or someone. Hallelujah. And so what I would like to do is, <clears throat> I want to start in, uh, because here's where the Holy Spirit is leading me to start, uh, in Psalms 40 and 4. Psalms 40 and 4. I'm always using the, the King James Bible, my friend. Every now and then I may go to the uh, Amplified or something, but the majority of the time I'm coming from the King James Bible. It's my preference. Uh, so if you have your Bibles and you want to hear the Bible say, uh, your Bible, you be in agreement with me, you're going to need a King James Bible because my Bible is not going to read the way yours, yours read. If you have... Uh, Constantly made a decision to follow this, this teaching. You need a King James Bible because that's what I teach and preach from. And so in Psalms 40 and 4 is where we want to start, is where we want to start today. And I'm going to say something to you today. Holy Spirit is going to say some things to you today that's paramount to your, your walk in your new season. Don't forget, friend, you're in a new season. Don't let anybody... Uh, steal that from you. Don't forget, friend, you're in a new season and everything that Bishop is saying to you through the Holy Spirit is to help you to prosper in your new season to benefit 
and to gain everything that God wants you to gain in your new season. <clears throat> Excuse me. Psalms 40 and 4 says this, blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust and respected not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lie. Now watch this, friend. Listen to this. Listen to this closely. This is important. Listen to what, listen to what he said. Blessed is the man. So happy is the man. Watch this now. Happy is the man. Watch this now. That word, that word blessed means happy. Happy is the man, is that man that maketh. We're going to deal with this word. We're going to deal with this word maketh. Okay, but because, listen, I have to consciously every day decide that I'm going to trust in the Lord. We're talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. We're talking about our, our Heavenly Father, <clears throat> the one God here. We're talking about, we're not talking about any and every God. We're talking about the God, the maker of, of all, the creator of heavens and earth, the one who's responsible for your existence and all living things. The Holy Spirit had me to say a couple of broadcasts ago, if the God you're ser serving is not the God who created the heavens and the earth, you're serving the wrong God. If the God you are serving, you have to die for that God, you're serving the wrong God. If the God you are serving is not contributing into your life, if the God you serve, friend, is not a contributor to your life, is not contributing into your life, adding, Jesus said, I came that you might have life and that you might have that life more abundantly. If the God you serve is not an asset to your life, He's a liability, then you're serving the wrong God, friend. It's not God at all. Not God at all. <clears throat> we read in, 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 in 2 Kings 18 where, uh, where Sennacherib had Ramshackle to go and talk to Hezekiah to, to tell him, don't believe in the God that he served, that he was going to deliver them that he was, don't be deceived by him. Our God is not a deceiver because we serve the true and living God. And so watch the scriptures again, because, because this, is so, this is so important, friend. It really is. Listen to this. Blessed, happy, happy is that man that maketh the Lord his trust. That maketh the Lord his trust. Now watch this. That, because that word, that word maketh right there is, watch this, sum seem. You pronounce it sum seem, even though it's spelled W-U-M. W-I-Y-M, it's pronounced sum sim. Watch this now what it means. It means to put. So blessed is, the, blessed is that man, watch this now. So blessed is that man that put it the Lord his trust, that put the Lord, designate the Lord as his trust. Okay, watch this now. It also means to appoint. It also means to appoint. So blessed is the man that appoint the Lord as his trust. Watch this now. It means to bring. <clears throat> so watch this now. So thank you, Holy Spirit. I will go there. So, so watch this, what the Holy Spirit said. He said, when, it, when I look at the word to a point, he said, what I want you to focus on, though, is the word point. He said, so I want you to point. In other words, direct your trust to the Lord. Direct and point your trust in his direction. Watch this now. Watch it now. It means to bring. So I bring my trust. Here's what we got to understand, friend. Your trust, you're not just going to wind up in trust with God. It's a daily decision. You got to make, you got to make up your mind. That's what you're going to do. You have to have a made up mind about that. You have to bring it to him. You have to bring your trust to him. Okay, watch this now. It'll come to you. Just pray about it. Watch this. It also means, watch this. I love this right here. To call a name. Wow, man, watch this. That word, that word make it right there, it means to call a name. So watch this. I'm going to put a name on my trust. Watch this, friend. I'm going to put a name on my trust. I call my trust the Lord Jesus Christ. I call him that because he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh to the Father but by me. He said, I know the Father, and the Father know me, and only them that I reveal him to. Friend, come on, pray for Bishop right now, because I thought this was amazing when I start dealing with what this word make it mean. He said, it mean, he says, watch this now. 
That's why Bishop writes stuff down to call a name, to call it by. Okay, so I'm going to name my trust. Oh, man, I'm going to name my trust. My trust is the Lord Jesus Christ. Watch this now. Uh, my, my trust is the Holy Spirit because he's the spirit of truth. Jesus is the God of truth. Our God is the God of truth and he cannot lie. It's impossible for him to lie. He's not a man that he should lie. <clears throat> Watch this now. So, so blessed is the man. So blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust. Watch this now. All of this is necessary for you to hear. It also means to change. So watch this now. So wherever your trust and your confidence and your faith is, watch this. For me to for me to say I will trust in thee, that means I'm gonna relocate. To to put, I'm gonna relocate. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna put it somewhere else, and I'm gonna put it in the Lord Jesus Christ. Watch this now. What else it means? It means to commit. That's that's taking me where we're going to go with this today, because the Holy Spirit said He wanted me to say to y'all today. Watch this now that you have to make a commitment. It has to be a commitment. Let, we're going to get that in a minute. Let, let, me, let me deal with this for you right quick. It means to commit. Watch this now. It also means to consider. Put up under consideration. Have you really thought about, have you all, uh, thought it through uh, where it is that your faith lies? Where is it that your trust lies? Have you really concentrated? Have you really talked about, I, I mean, reasoned with yourself, friend, about Really, where is my trust? Who do I trust? What do I really trust? Because see, when stuff hit the fan, <laughs> when things get crazy, what do you run to? Who do you run to? Because that right there, that's the person or the thing that you trust in. That's the thing or the person that you have put your confidence and faith in. Watch this, Fred. Watch this then. It means to, to convey it means to convey a thing, to convey. So you have to convey that. You have to express that to people who you trust and where you have placed your trust. It also means to determine. Are you determined to put your trust in the Lord? Are you determined to trust him and nobody else and nothing else? Is that your determination? If it's your determination, friend, then you have to put feet to that. Watch this, what else it means? It means to impute. It also means to leave. So when I bring it somewhere, I leave it there. Jesus said, my peace I give you. But he said, my peace I leave with you. That means you'll never be without the peace. If I, if I put my, pay, my, my peace, my, my trust in the Lord and I leave it there. Watch this, friend. Here's what the, uh, uh, God told John the Baptist about how he would recognize the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, after he's baptized, he's come, come up out the water. He said, when the spirit like a dove light up on him and stay, go read your Bible. When it light up on him and stay, this is how you're going to know that he is my son. So see, when I put my, my, my trust in the Lord and I leave it there, that's how you know, friend, that you really trust in the Lord because you don't move your faith. You're not vacillated in where your faith and your trust is. It's, you leave it there. You put it there and you leave it there. Now watch this now. It means to mark, okay? <clears throat> but I was, uh, I, was, I was doing my lawn a couple of days ago. I was out doing my lawn. And because of the way my, the, the height of my, my lawn was, it was kind of difficult to see where I was. And so I had to mark the place so I wouldn't go over the same place over again. So I had to mark that place so I know, come on friend, so I know where I stopped at, so I know not to go back there again. Come here friend. And so, and so that word make it means to mark. You have to mark the place where you put your faith. Mark that place friend, so that you remember, mark that place so you remember, hallelujah. The Bible says mark those that cause division uh -huh, so that you can recognize and identify them. And so mark, it means to mark. Watch what does it mean? It means to purpose. It means, so in other words, friend, you have to do this on purpose. You have to do this on purpose. Listen, listen, listen. <clears throat> Blessed is the man that, that purposely put his trust in the Lord. That purpose, you had to purposely do that. You had to do that on purpose. It's not just going to happen one day you're going to wake up and say, oh man, I, I, I realize I trust in the Lord. No, friend, you got you to do that on purpose. Okay, watch this. I, I know you, you say, well, Bishop, you just hold on because it also means to set. It also means to set. You ever set your watch? So is that the right time? You have to set certain things, right? <clears throat> you have to set certain things. And so you have to set, in, in other words, 
place. I'm going to set my trust. I'm, it's just like me setting this towel in my hand. I'm going to set my trust, put it there, place it there in the Lord Jesus Christ. Watch this. Hey, hey, this, this was another thing that I loved about this, this word, uh, soon seen. It also means to care. The question is, friend, do you care where you have your faith and trust in? Do you care or, or does it matter to you at all where your trust is, where your trust lies? You, it ought to matter to you. You ought to care, friend, because there are a lot of false gods out here, friend. There are a lot of false gods and we're putting our faith and trust. <clears throat> Watch this. We're putting our faith and trust in places, friend, uh, that's going to let us down. And, and we're going to be ashamed when, when we find out that all this time, all this time, I have placed my faith and my trust over here for nothing and it's been in vain because that thing or that person can't help me at all. A lot of people going to wake up in hell, friend. A lot of people going to wake up in hell because they didn't trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. You got to purposely do it, friend. You got to care about this thing, about where you place your, I will trust in thee. Do you care, friend, where your trust is? Watch this. It also means to show. It means to show. So watch this, friend. I'm going to show the devil where my trust is. Come here, friend. Come here, friend. I'm going to show the devil and everybody that be where my trust is and who my trust and my faith is in. I'm going to show you by my actions. I'm going to show you, friend, who I have my trust and who I've placed my trust in. Oh, I love this. I love this. It also means, watch this, to rehearse or to practice. It's not going to just happen, friend. You have to practice putting your trust, placing your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to practice that. You have to rehearse that. Here's what the scripture say in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Don't let the word of God depart out of your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. Watch this. Observe to do, which means to rehearse and practice. Observe to do all that is written therein. And when you do that, you will prosper. You will make your way prosperous and have good success. That word observe means to rehearse and it means to practice. So friend, this word maketh means I have to rehearse this. I have to practice putting my faith in the Lord. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have to rehearse that friend. It don't just happen. I have to practice doing this. I tell my congregation this all the time. Listen, you have to practice obeying God. You have to get used to obeying God. It has to come to a place to where that's what I do. I don't have to think about it. It's something that I do. You have to rehearse it, friend. You have to practice putting your faith in the Lord. You have to do that. It's not going to just happen. Watch this, friend. This is, this is good stuff, whether you believe it or not. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust. I got to make him that. He don't become that. I make him that. Here's what Jesus said. He said, follow me, and I will make you fisher of men. You're not going to just become... You're not going to just become fisher of men, but if you follow me, I will make you fisher of men. Come here, somebody. Don't leave Bishop yet. Look here. You, you got to make him. You got to make him your trust. You got to make that happen. It doesn't just happen. It's not going to just happen, friend. It's something you have to purposely, <clears throat> aimlessly do. You have to aim at that, direct your trust in that direction. You have to let every power and principality that know that Jesus, that God is the one that you trust in, friend. Nothing else and nobody else. And you don't need him and somebody else or something else to trust him. No, 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 no. He's worthy of trusting him alone. He's worthy of my trust because he's never failed me. He's promised to always be there for me, to never fail me, never forsake me. Hallelujah. And so put your trust there. You have to do that purposely. The scripture says, blessed is the man that make him that. You see what I mean? You have to make him that. You have to come. You have to say that that's, I, I tell people all the time, listen, I'm not everybody's bishop. I'm not everybody's pastor. But if you say I am, I am because you've made me that. Oh, glory to God. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Watch this now. There, there are many times where we see that people went to Jesus for healing. 
And Jesus would say, watch this, your faith have made you whole. Oh, come here, friend, come here, friend. Your faith have healed you. Your faith have done this. Your faith have made you whole. You see, friend, something has to make that happen. It don't just happen. So he asked the man when he come about his son, he said, do you believe that I'm able to do it? He said, I believe, but help my unbelief. You see, friend? And so God, Jesus was telling him that without faith, we can't make it happen. You need to have faith in order and your faith will make it. Y'all come on down this road with me. Your faith will make it happen for you. Jesus said it to us in the scriptures. He said, watch this. He said, when you pray, believing, believing what you pray, you'll have what you pray. That means when you believe your faith will make it happen. Here's what he says in Isaiah 55 and 11. He said, my word will not return void. It shall accomplish Everything that pleases me. In other words, it shall make it happen for me. My word will make it happen for me. Your faith will make it happen. Come on, friend. Come on, friend. You have to make him your trust. He's not just going to become your trust. You have to make him your trust. Blessed, blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust. Purposely do that. Oh, man. This wonderful stuff, friend. See, see, we need revelation because we're just thinking something got us or somebody got us thinking that one day I'm just going to wake up in the morning and I'm going to start trusting God. No, friend, you have to rehearse that. You have to practice doing that. Watch this thing. Watch this. Because God will always give you an opportunity to choose. You have to choose to trust him because there are always going to be something or somebody else that's going to be biding for your trust. And so the enemy really wants you to trust him. That's why he told Jesus, if you worship me, I'll give you this. If you bow down to me, I'll give you this. He want, he's trying, he wants to buy his trust. He wants to earn his trust. And so the enemy offer you things too, friend, to buy your trust. Jesus is not trying to buy your trust. He don't want to buy your trust. Jesus did things that you might be able to trust him, that you would trust him. He's, he don't want to buy your, he don't want to buy your trust. He's done things, watch this now, to, to let you know that you can trust him. God is not trying to, he's not wanting to deceive you into trust. He's not trying to lure you, thank you Holy Spirit. He, he's, he don't want to lure you into trusting him. No friend, no friend. He give you every reason why you should trust him. But you got to understand the scriptures say, blessed is that man that trust him, man, this is good stuff right here, friend. This is good stuff right here. I mean, right here, this is good stuff right here. So you have to practice doing it. You have to purposely do this, right? Let's go over to Psalms 25. And let's see what it says in Psalm 25, friend. Oh, I'm, I'm enjoying this so much. I'm enjoying this so much. <clears throat> Psalm 25. Uh, let's look at verse 2. Look at what it says. Oh, my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemy triumph over me. L listen, listen what he said, friend. Listen. Oh, oh, my God, I trust in thee. You see what he's doing? He's purposely, friend. He's purposely putting his trust in him. He's, he's, he's putting his trust there. He's, watch this, he's, he's pointing his trust in, in his, he's bringing his trust. He's naming, come here, friend. He's naming his trust. Watch this now. And he's marking the place where his trust is. He's placing it and setting it there. Matter of fact, and he's showing the rest. He's showing any observer where his trust is. He's showing the readers where he's put his trust. Oh, come on, friend. This is good stuff right here, whether you believe it or not. This is good stuff, man. Look, he's clear about it. He said, oh, my God, I trust in thee. He's determined, that, that's, that's making a determination that's consciously and purposely placing and putting, imputing his trust in the Lord. Watch this now. Let's look at verse 20, verse 20 in the same, same, past, same chapter. Watch this, friend. Watch what it says. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. <clears throat> Excuse me. He said, for I put my trust in thee. In the, I place my trust in thee. You, you see, friend, you see, I've marked you. You're the place where I've designated you to be the place. Man, this is good, friend. This is good. This is good. This is good. 
In other words, he care where his trust is and he care where, whether or not God know where his trust is or anybody else know where his trust is. Look what he say, friend. Look what he say. Let me not be ashamed for I put my trust in you. I say this to people. You know, people say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Well, I have. All my eggs is in the basket of the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> everything in my life, I've given everything to him. Everything in my life is in the Lord Jesus Christ. The life I live is not in my life. It's the, it's the life of the Lord Jesus Christ who lives on the inside of me. Though I be dead, yet shall I live. All, everything is in him. Everything, friend, everything. I've put my life, everything in his hands because he's capable. He's capable to hold on to everything, friend. And whatever I put in his hand, he's capable of, of taking care of for me. So, so, so he consciously say, for I put my trust in thee. You, you see, he's letting the Lord know, hey, the, but the Lord knows. But he have to know for himself where his trust is because now he's marking the place where he put his trust. Come here, friend. Now he's marking the place. And watch this. He's leaving it there. He's pointing it there, but he's also leaving it there. And he's calling his trust by name. Oh, y'all. This is good stuff, friend. He's calling his trust by name. Look what he say, friend. Look. For I put my trust in thee. He's talking to the Lord. For I put my trust in thee. Friend, have you put, have you really considered it, friend, where your trust is? <clears throat> Here's what I would dare you to do. Examine yourself. Pay close attention to yourself when things happen, when things happen in your life, when surprise comes, the element of surprise, when things happen, who do you run to? Where do you run, friend? Who you lean or what do you lean the hardest on when, when trouble comes? Because that will show you where you have placed your trust whether or not you have made, watch this, <clears throat> because blessed is the man, right? Who, who, who maketh the Lord his trust. Are you blessed, friend? Do you consider yourself to be blessed? Have you made the Lord your trust? Have you named your trust? This is good, friend. This is good. Have you named your trust? Have you given your trust a name? <clears throat> Some of you have, it's called money. It's called fame. It's called gold. It's called silver. Come here, friend. Come on, come on, come on. Some of you have named it. It's just not the Lord, but you have put a name on it. You know, some people say everybody got a price. My price has been paid, and it's the Lord Jesus Christ. It's been paid by his blood. I belong to him, friend. I belong to him. <clears throat> here we are as we close. I have to close now, friend. Listen, thank you for allowing me space in your life today. Ponder on this. Think about what it is that the Holy Spirit has said to you today. Find out, friend, locate where you have placed your trust. Know that Bishop is praying for you. Thank you for praying for KPLE and thank you for praying for me. Remember them in your giving. Until next time, be blessed, my friend. Bishop, love you to life. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Whatever you want, I'll do it. Lord, whatever you want, I'll give it. Lord, whatever you want me to do, I'll say to whatever, whatever, whatever.